Here is a model that is showing different kind of uh, organ in the human body. And here is what I want, want to talk about is the human breathing system. You can turn your book to page 44. And because some of the parts is missing, so the first two parts we can look at a book, look at your textbook. And the first one is the loss of gravity. Loss of gravity is uh, Bei Hong, and the, the air is breathed in from the nozzles, and throughout the nozzle gravity, and then the gas will then pass through our trachea. Trachea is kind of like here, the blue one, this blue one just behind all the blood vessels and muscles so you can touch your flow and behind the flow there's a lot of muscles under the muscles there is a trachea Heigun. and then the trachea go in the gas throughout the trachea and then go into the bronchus bronchus we need to remove the lung first and the other one and here is, is the heart, and we take out, we take a look under the, our heart, and after the trachea, the thick one, and there is two ray, and this two ray is the bronchus, ji guan, and this two connect to our left and right lung, and for the brown branches is kind of thick one and then it turned out a different path here are uh, many ways to different parts of the lung and this is bronchial bronchial the small tubes the small tubes small parts okay and then at the end of the bronchial there is a lot of small okay a very small area that is called ASX. ASX, you can look on to your book on page 45, just like here. A lot of uh, like bunt fluxos, which is called capillary. You can see the words here, Mei Hui Guan, on the surface of the ASX, because when the gas in and out, we can do the gas exchange. We can provide a much more large area to do the gas exchange because we need to do the process of respiration, which is taking oxygen and release the carbon dioxide. So here is the area, the surface, to have this kind of gas exchange. We breathe in oxygen and take out the, the carbon dioxide we have used after the process of respiration. And then, here is the, some kind of uh, intercostal muscles and rib, and you can see here. Intercostal muscles is just between this white one, rib, and this kind of bone to protect ourselves, to protect the lung, and the muscles here is to control the movement of our lung to breathe in the air and breathe out the air. Okay, it's kind of muscles that use to move forward, move upward and downward of our lung. And after that, on the lower parts, there is a diaphragm. Diaphragm is some kind of a very thin, a very thin layers just around here to draw in the air, just move down and move up. When it moves down, a lot of air is drawn into the lung and when it moves up and the air inside the lung will breathe out, will draw it out just like this one. Okay, here is the model. So after the gas flew out the nozzle and it come into the uh, loss of gravity and then it flew out the trachea here, the trachea and then go into two way and here is the bronchus and 
There is a bonkers, a thick one, and it goes into the small tubes. It's bronchial, and at the end of the bronchial, there is an air sac, which is containing a lot of uh, capillary to do the gas exchange. And then on the outside of the lung, which is protect and control of the muscles, here is the intercostal muscles and the rib, okay? And on the bottom, on the diaphragm, and here is the main part of the breathing systems.